Hello Scorpio and welcome to your mid to end um, tarot reading to see what information is coming through for you guys. Um, I do recommend watching your sun, moon, and rising, but rising is usually the most accurate. So spirit, what do my Scorpio friends need to know at this time for the end of September? Let's just see what messages are coming through here. I feel like you guys have been, um, okay, you've definitely been going through a difficult time. Feeling stuck and unsure what direction that you want to take. But at the end of September, I feel like some new energy is coming through. There's going to be a shift, almost like a complete shift. Um, it's almost like you're getting this intuitive download, this inspiration that completely changes how you're feeling because, I mean, we're going from Three of Swords, which Three of Swords energy is very sorrowful and sad. And then this inspiration really leads you to a lot of change in your life. It shifts your whole um, journey, your whole path. <clears throat> See what else is coming through? Definitely. So you guys have to take advantage of this though. So when this inspiration comes to you, it's best to not dwell on what has happened in the past, whatever is uh, creating a sadness and sorrow. Um, because this is the end of something. It's the end of something and also the beginning of something. Because whenever there's an end, there's also a beginning. Two tens also indicates that for some of you, you could be moving locations, moving jobs, moving homes, seeing this... Um, Four of Wands, a lot of you could be moving out, you know, to a new house and maybe you're sad about it. Maybe you're upset. This is something that you're definitely going to have to, like I said, work on and work for. It feels like because there is still this shift of energy of wanting to look back for you guys, that you're going to have to be, um, you know, you have to have, you're going to have to use your willpower in order to move forward with this to make this change because you know it's the best thing for you look at all these endings but look these are the cards i'm getting it's like you have to completely leave this thing behind that is hurting you you have to let go of the hurt you have to let go of the pain and honestly this is how we heal um when we feel that our heart chakras and stuff blocked we have to forgive we have to move forward otherwise we either block other people out or block other connections out and then we're not able to actually move forward so it's almost like you guys need to make a choice at this time. And you're going to have to fight for this choice. You're going to have to fight for this change. Because it's going to bring a lot of happiness to you. It's going to bring a lot of good, um, a good, a lot of good energy, a lot of good times. Let me see if I can get another card for you. And we have the Five of Pentacles. So what you're doing though, I feel like is um, definitely challenging you a lot. We're definitely seeing a lot of challenges here where you have to be strong and bold at this time and not let this stuff get to you. Uh, for some reason with the five of pentacles, I'm picking up like you are feeling that people are looking at you negatively. People are looking down at you and you're scared about this. But it's kind of about when I see this, it's like you need to keep moving forward. You need to keep walking forward at this time. And you're going to be given, like I said, the inspiration, the courage the drive in order to do this sort of things, but this change is definitely necessary at this time, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, I think that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I hope you have a super blessed day.